Well, JP Morgan kicking off third quarter earnings season for financials with uh, pretty much a big bang. They beat estimates on both the top and the bottom. Joining me now with the details and a look ahead to next week's big bank earnings, James Frischling of New York Capital. Well, let's start, frankly, we got to go to JP Morgan here. There was so much uh, pressure and speculation about the quarter. Did you get what you expected out of it? Um, I, actually, I think we did. Um, on the positive side, it was clearly that the mortgage banking business and their lending business uh, spiked dramatically. I think the mortgage production over 30 uh, percent in terms of year over year, its revenues to 1.8 billion. And I think what's interesting to note is just how much of that work was done in the refinancing area. But again, a big boost uh, to the bank that now is lending. And I guess this is kind of a page out of Wells Fargo's book, because again, last quarter, Wells Fargo, I think, had a big boost. And again, this quarter uh, in their mortgage production. So a lot of money coming to these banks through their mortgage business, through their traditional lending business. Fair enough on JP Morgan here. Mortgage volume up 33 percent, but corporate bond sales were up 66 percent. Is that strictly tied to the Fed? Or is there something else going on here in the bond market? Um, I mean, I guess I, I certainly think a lot of the, uh, the strength in these markets, whether it be equities or in the corporate bond land, has a lot to do with the Fed, has a lot to do with the, uh, the commitment to keep rates low. And again, mm -hmm. corporations that are running their business well uh, are, are, have access to capital like they've never seen before. So not surprised that there's been uh, some interest in, in those types of products. All right. Let's talk about Wells Fargo because the results are kind of being characterized as Okay, you know they were they did okay. Uh, still, though, the refis were big for them. Mortgage is a big piece for them. They're heavy into the California market. What did you make of Wells Fargo? I mean, I think the uh, again on the positive side was the mortgage story. On the negative side, the net interest margin, uh, the money uh, where they take it in versus where they lend it out is continuing to drop. Part of that is, I, I guess, uh, completely understandable given uh, the, uh, you know where rates are. Um, but again, I think um, Wells has had the best performance trading. Uh, I think 1.4 times book, the strongest of what I like to call the core. For. They've had a tremendous move, um, and I think on the negative side, they didn't get their expenses cut uh, the way they thought they would, so I think there's a little bit of a drag there, but overall, still a very strong entity. Wells Fargo up almost 35% mm -hmm. over the last year, and you've got JP Morgan up almost 33%. we got to bring up the London Whale here. They lost $5.8 billion in the first half of this year, JP Morgan did. Are we completely, completely over the London Well story. I, I think that was one of the things we were, we, we, were, uh, we were looking at, and our expectation was, A, as of today, it is virtually done, and I think they kind of reiterated that on the call to the best that they have a, a handle on that CIO office. Um, we also thought, and you know, kind of going back a few months, we thought while the, the size of the loss was clearly a massive amount, we also thought it was relative to the size of the book and to the size of the organization, it was, it, it caused too much of a, uh, of a push down in the stock, and we actually talked over the summer uh, about that that was a re-entry point um, given the pressure that was felt in the stock by the London Whale. A huge loss, not yeah. compared to the size of the book. And look, a lot of people would have made money if they would have gotten in at that low point. Buy low, uh, buy low sell high is the old phrase, and <laughs> that really worked out on this one. All right, Jim, a lot more financials coming out next week. We're going to call you back. Thank you. Look forward to it. Thanks, All right, guys. Dennis.